The Courting by Mina Kinney, Chapter 36, The Death of Albus Dumbledore. Draco's point of view, Harry, my fiancé, had sat himself down on my lap, his back t- to me. I had put my arms around him and inhaled a scent. He, he smelled somewhat better, more mature. Honestly, I didn't care for the game the dark lord had set up, but for the sweet boy in my lap. His dress fit him perfectly, and it seemed like his hips had grown a little, maybe half an inch, but I could feel it. Harry cuddled into me, his hands over mine, the green stone glistening on his finger. I had gotten it some weeks ago while strolling through Dragon Alley. When I saw it, I instantly thought about Harry, and I just had to buy it. Toppy must have put it in my suit today. When I looked over Harry, I saw that they had put a cage in the middle of the room. It was a giant cage, two and a half feet tall and nine feet long. The dog lord was going around the cage, casting a spell on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are able to capture the Order of the Phoenix, he shouted out, and we met with a ringing applause. Finally, Harry clapped too, leaning into me even more. Silence, the dog lord shouted again, and it was quiet again. Now, we will let them fight against each other, Dumbledore versus everyone else. And with that, the ground under the cage opened. People were thrown into the cage from underground. Some of the people I knew, some of them I had never seen before. When they landed, the dog lord threw a bunch of wands at them. They seemed surprised, as if the wands had fallen from nowhere. It seems they couldn't see us. This is the closer circle of the Order of the Phoenix, the dog lord said. People in the cage started to talk, but I didn't understand them. Maybe because I wasn't too interested. Hey, was just so distracting. Let's introduce their opponent. Albalus, Principal, Wilfric, Brandon, Dumbledore. The Dark Lord shouted. The smoke appeared around the inside of the cage. After a good minute of smoke, an old man was revealed. He was kneeling on the ground, unable to move anything but his head. One member of the Order of the Phoenix wanted to run to him, but he was stopped by an invisible wall. I'm sorry, I can't let them fight just yet. A special jest is missing. The second Voldemort had finished his sentence, the doors were open and a group of people were storming in. It seemed Harry got excited and started jumping on my lap. Let's just say that got Draco Jr. excited too. What is it, Harry? I asked my fiancé. Greyback is here. That means we can start. Harry said happily, gripping my hand and placing it on his tummy. Greyback knelt down in front of his master, the Dark Lord, and apologized for being late, something about a new member. When he sat down, he put a cushion down on the ground and made another man sit on it. I knew him from somewhere, but I couldn't pinpoint it. He must have been the Pax Omega. That would be the only reason for Greyback to keep him so close. The rest of the pack had set themselves down near the wall. He whispered something into the ear of the Omega and let the latter turn around to face the cage. Now that we're all seated, I think we can start. On with that, the border dropped and the order were able to charge at their leader. I thought they would try and help him, but instead they threw hexes at him. Harry must have felt my surprise when he whispered in my ear. We put the group together and Dumbledore separate. After a week of passing the guild around, they decided that it was all Dumbledore's fault. And after another week of planning his death, we decided it was time to put the plan in action. I nodded my head and enjoyed the show. Kingsley was pressing the old man to the ground while the others were kicking at him and throwing hexes. My dear cousin seemed practically angry, streaming curses and kicking Dumbledore's rapidly. Harry wasn't really enjoying the scene in front of him. He was more focused on the Omega. Who is he? I asked him. Remus Lupin, the DATA teacher from our third year. Do you remember? I kissed Harry back and asked another question. Why are you so interested? Because he was abused by Dumbledore, he was first into a marriage and held against his will from other werewolves. I want to see how we can cope with seeing this, if he is okay with his new position. I looked over. Lupin had placed a hand on the leg of the chair his alpha was using and simply dozed off. He looked back at the battle at the cage. Now the old one was bleeding, his hair and beard going pink. He was only given away a few guns, and Harry gripped both my arms when Dumbledore turned his head to us and literally saw the life leave his eyes. End of chapter 36